So in this example, we're going to use an external CSS. So let's right click on the source and create a new untitled text file, file, doesn't matter. You create a blank one. Anyway, we'll be saving it with some kind of a name. Um, so we're going to now go back to show button.java and let me grab all these CSS properties that I have. Let me copy them and paste them here. I need to get rid of a few things in this example. I need to get rid of all the double quotes and all the concatenations. Then you save your file and when you're saving your file, make sure you save it on in the source folder and we're going to call this one myfxstyles.css. So myfxstyles.css. So it's going to be a CSS file. And then you click OK. Now there's one more change that I have to make over here before I make the final changes. Since I do not have double quotes around, so in pure CSS, you have to use double quotes instead of single quotes because earlier on I was in Java. Second of all, you can't have CSS properties written out like that. You have to assign them to an ID or a class or an element. So we were going to enclose these properties in curly braces to show that they belong to somebody. They're not free floating. And then we're going to come up with an ID. We're going to call this exit. It's just a user defined ID. It can be anything. I just name it the same as my button. So it's easier for me to remember. And IDs in CSS are given with a pound and classes are given with a period. So I created an ID. Done everybody with this much? Save the changes. And now switch over back to the show button.java. In show button.java, you need to get rid of this whole string. We don't need it anymore. You do not need to say exit.set style. We need to get rid of that as well. Let me get rid of all the properties that I had set before for internal CSS as we are now doing external CSS. What do I need to do here? I need to assign those CSS properties to my exit button. What was my ID? Exit, right? So I'm going to come in here and I'll say, you know what exit button? I want you to grab your ID. So there's a set ID function built in. This is where you can provide in the double quotes the name of that CSS ID from where we're going to be grabbing the values from. Okay, and now I need to link this Java document with the CSS, external CSS. So I need to write that statement down at the scene level. So I can tell my scene that, you know what, you will going to get your style sheets. So it's actually a built-in function style sheets dot add because it can have more than one style sheets. That's why there is, there is an add function. You're going to get your style sheet information from myfxstyles.css. So now when you run this, you'll get the exact same output as before. But now everything is being brought over from external source. So you can write your external CSS. You can bring it over. And then all you need to do is assign each one of those elements an ID. Let's try to do one more thing is let's try to change the size from 18 points to 14 points just to see that it's really working. And now we're going to go back, save the changes, go back to show button.java, rerun it, and now button will have smaller text.